Looks like you made it back to all four oodles. We've got another runtime video coming at you, so stay tuned. Thank you for coming back to see us here at All Four Oodles. Welcome to all the viewers and subscribers out there. All right, today we got a runtime video coming at you. And we're going, today we're going to use the Ryobi 150 watt inverter. This is the first generation. It is the part number RYI150BG. And so we're going to take that. <clears throat> we're going to pair it with a fully charged 4 amp hour battery. A P108. And we're going to run a 39 inch TV. I'm going to roll some of that in. So y'all can see what we're talking about there and how much uh, uh, amperage it uses, or wattage, excuse me. So we're dealing with a 150 watt inverter. All right, but first, a word from our sponsors. If you've made it this far in the video with us, why don't you consider subscribing? You can hit that thumbs up button if you think we have good content. Hit that thumbs down if you don't like our content. Um, hit that bell for notification of future content. Um, leave us a comment. Suggestions are always welcome. Uh, questions, well, I'll try to answer the best I can. And uh, also, you can follow us over on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links to that are in the About section on the channel there. Um, you want to look below, I'll have any links to any uh, tools I use in the video below. And also, there's a link to our website. A few affiliate links if you so choose to help out the channel by, you know, buying stuff. You can go through the links and just buy stuff you normally buy and it helps out the channel. And also, if you so choose and you feel that we deserve it, there is a Patreon link down below. Now, back to the content. We're performing this test on a standard, non-smart uh, Insignia TV, 39 inches in size. The TV running has about a, approximately a 35 watt draw with my amp and watt meter here. We got our Royal B 150 watt inverter. We have a fully charged 4 hour amp hour battery. We're going to cut the inverter on. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in to the TV. Put it right like that. We got our timer in view. We're gonna cut the TV on and start the timer at the same time there. And now we're gonna swap over to time lapse. like we made it to one hour and 39 minutes 51 seconds well there you have our runtime experiment we got one hour 39 minutes and 51 seconds so we'll call that a hundred uh, one hour and 40 minutes just for a figure and purpose because that gives a hundred minutes even all right, well, if you look at that, you get 25 minutes of amp hour since that was a 4 amp hour battery. So if you use a 3 amp hour battery, you get about uh, 75 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes. If you use a 6 amp hour battery, you get 150 minutes or about 2.5 hours. If you use a 9 amp hour battery, you get 225 minutes or about 3 hours and 45 minutes worth of runtime. Well, that I think this would be a perfect addition to your storm supplies. I know you have to have several batteries to keep up with or to have on hand because it does not run a very long time, but it'll run a good amount of time if you just want to turn TV on, check the weather, see how your weather's doing in your area, if it's an outage and you have storms in the area. I think it would be perfect for that. Well, or I mean, if you want to take a camping, something like that, but a 
you know, very practical use, I think, would be, you know, watching the weather during a storm and being able to turn your TV on and see what's going on. Well, there you have it. A good little runtime video. And I hope you come back to see us again on all four wheels. Hope you enjoyed this video. And God bless America.